Hi, welcome to the next one in my monthly series on Reaper.js plugins. So today we're looking at the mid-side encoder and mid-side decoder pair of scripts. So you'll want to be using them in pair and you'll want to generally be using them in this order. The encoder first and the decoder second. So the encoder, what that does is it uses a convention of putting all of the mid information to the left channel and all of the side information to the right channel. And then the decoder puts things back to normal. So if we start our drum beat sort of plug, as you can hear with the encoder and decoder both in place, it sounds completely normal. Whereas if we disable the decoder, all of a sudden what you're hearing is the mid information in the left and the right information, the side information on the right. So the encoder has no parameters. The decoder does have a few. It has a center level, which is basically allowing to change the, the relative apply gain to either the center or the side channel on the way out through of decoding. Um, output swap means you swap the normal convention of mid being left and center and sides being right to the other way around. And the center position means that you can actually chan the, the center to somewhere else other than center. Um, which, yeah, that will sound, that will make a bit more sense with some examples. So, bring the drum beat back. So, firstly, if I did the output swap, that'll sound quite odd because you basically have swapped what would normally be in the center of the sides and vice versa. Uh, center position. So if I start dragging that that way, you can all of a sudden, everything's, everything's panning left, or everything's panning right. And if I want, this, want the sides to be louder relative to the center, do that, or alternately the other way around. Like so. So how might we actually use this? Okay. So let's use the plugin that we covered in a previous video, the distortion plugin. JS distortion, like so. So we want this in between the... Now, how do we make sure that this only applies to the one, the one channel? Well, if it was a normal sort of plugin that doesn't have specific left sort of right things, what we can do is we could basically disable the track to pin in and out, and that would cause it to only process the mid channel. But in this particular case, there is a, this distortion plugin has a channel mode left, so we don't have to, we don't have to worry about, it. we can just leave it on left. So let's bring the drum beat back. Dial it in. Like 
be a bit more hot. Yeah, okay, there it is. That's definitely added a bit of warmth to the drums. So as simple as that, but you can obviously use mid-side processing for a lot of different things. You could you could AQ adjust the mid-channel, you could um, compress just the mid-channel, etc., etc., or the sides, or whatever whatever you like, want to do. It's very powerful stuff. Okay, I hope you, en hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you found it helpful, and see you in the next video tomorrow.